Look, see? All the Chinese people, I'm actually going to eat this as an American. It's a beef alkiris. You beef will have very healthy alkiris. You will never hurt it. No Kobe injury here. Exactly. Actually, never cherry my alkiris. The one you're eating, that's Kobe's alkiris. Brad Pitt got nothing Kobe's on me. Achilles. <laughs> What's going on guys? We just got to the hotel in Shenyang. And let me tell you guys, Shenyang is popping. It's a really busy city with a lot of cool stuff. We're about to go out, hit up a couple of spots with the boys, a couple of people from Anta. We just got done eating dinner or lunch or late lunch, early dinner with Clay's friends. Clay had an event, so his boys came to eat dinner with us and we went to this dumpling house that was super good awesome this place was open or it's been doing dumplings for over a hundred years that's what all the locals were saying to us and they said it's really popular we ordered a ton of food way too much food a ton of dumplings but the good news is all the food was pretty delicious i really enjoyed it and the beer here the beer in china is also very delicious but the food was great i mean we ordered way too much food my guy woody woody w u d i he ordered a ton of food from us that stupid chicken <laughs> stupid chicken stew of wild mushrooms yo this is hilarious we're in the hotel let me give you guys a quick tour of this hotel this is the second nicest hotel we're staying at the last one in Zhengzhou was the easily the nicest hotel but look at this bed massive this is the biggest bed that i'm ever going to sleep on i think this is a california king it is humongous here's the chair the desk it's not as big there's the tv um tv stand it's not as big as the rest of the hotels like the last one but it's definitely nice you got the shower and a bath i took that bath yesterday and it was so good. My knees feel a hundred times better. There's a sink. So yeah, the Kapinski, definitely a little smaller, but that bed is humongous. Can't wait to crash on that. Uh, so yeah, the Kapinski Hotel, definitely very nice out here in Shenyang. We're about to hit up a couple spots, about to freshen up. So let's do it. These are our homies. We're waiting for them. Not him. There you go, brother. Our homies, we're waiting for them. Yeah, we're gonna meet you. Shoot the gap. Look at that guy. Almost died, Justin Shen Yang. Shen Yang, Shen Yang. Oh, Alex! We found Alex! We found him. I was scared we left you in Chengdu. Description I got for this was meat. So <laughs> Ian's going in for the meat. Beef tendon. Beef tendon? Okay. We're gonna try it. Screw it. We're gonna try it. Oh dude, it tastes like salt, pepper. That's it. It's good. It's good. Yeah, man. I'm the next Mario Batali. <laughs> Literally, don't know what this is. Closest thing I got was Achilles. Beef Achilles. Beef Achilles. Beef Achilles. Seriously. Mm -hmm. Seriously. I'm not gonna try it. Dude, tastes like chicken. Honestly, swear to God. Swear to God. Hashtag tastes like chicken. Too bad. I guess I messed up. Look, see? All the Chinese people, I'm actually going to eat this as an American. It's a beef alkiris. You beef will have Achilles. very healthy alkiris. You will never hurt it. No Kobe injury here. Exactly. Actually, never cherry my Achilles. The one you're eating, that's Kobe's alkiris. Brad Pitt got nothing Kobe's on me. Achilles. Kobe's Achilles. This right here is the best. Whatever this is, it's the best. Mm. And that's kidney. The big one kidney. Super good, salty, peppery, seasoned to 
No man's land. Super good. Super good. I got Sean. Gonna have some chicken wings. Yeah, you can fly. Yeah, I can already feel, you know, I'm throwing you in the wings. Yeah, you can fly. My Achilles feels super strong right now. Thank you to Sean for getting us all the, the, the really good skewers. That's Sean. All the good skewers. This is Sean's favorite. Kidney. Kidney. I've not tried it yet. This is super good. Tastes like salt. So Shout out Hawaii. Yeah. Too much food? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too hot? Be a man. Man, I eat that oh, shit. Oh, you don't like kidney? You don't like kidney? Can't handle your own cuisine? Uh, <laughs> Soft and juicy. No, yes. no you are a grown up. No, you are growing up. Doctor, I mean, I Doctor Miami. We should go inside. Let's go inside. What's up guys? So <laughs> right now it's about 4 a.m. and um, I just didn't sleep. I just didn't sleep, couldn't sleep. We're about to get on a flight, about a three, four hour flight down to the southern part of China. I, I don't know what the, the name of the place is. Guangzhou, I think. Uh, right now we're in Shenyang and Shenyang was crazy. It was a really good city. I highly recommend checking out Shenyang. Super nice, a lot of cool buildings, a lot of cool architecture. Great food, awesome food, palpable food too. Or I don't even know what I just said. Palpable food, is that even the right way to say it? But it's just like food that is very welcoming to people like me, Americans. Dumplings, um, uh, really good ribs, really good beef, really good vegetables. Um, okra is like my new favorite um, vegetable right now and they do it right here in China. So that was super good, very delicious. And the beer here, I don't know. Also very good, very light, and um, yeah, everything in Shenyang was absolutely awesome. I highly recommend it. The Forbidden City, we also went to the Forbidden City, and that was pretty cool. We got a quick little tour. We got to see the cool architecture and all the history because our tour guide was telling us about all the emperors and his wives and his kids and all of these stories, and that's really what I wanted to know about China. I wanted to know about the culture and the history with the tourist stuff, but also with the locals and that's what we did last night and a couple nights before that and we've pre been pretty much chilling out with people from China, the Chinese media. So everything was really cool in Shenyang. This one is probably my second favorite city, but it's really close between Chengdu and Shenyang. We might be helping design Clay Thompson's next sneaker. From what I understand and from what they told me, that's what's going down tomorrow in the sneaker lab. And they said the winner is going to get a special prize from K Clay Thompson. They call him KT here. That's why I stumbled on that speech right there. They call him KT here. And it sounds really weird because I feel like they're saying KD because they say it really fast. So like KT. And um, with their accent, I just feel like they're saying KD. But yeah. The winner of the sneaker lab contest, I guess, between all the media 
Oh, uh, look, this is a wake up call. Watch this. Hello? Okay, I'm coming down. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> they keep calling me to make sure I'm coming down, but I gotta go down there. Anyways, yeah, they're gonna get a special prize from Clay Thompson, so we're gonna see how that goes. Maybe I'll win. I don't know. So let's go check out Guanzo, guys. And we left, and then he came out of the car and asked me and Nate to sign the basketball. See? There's me signing a ball. Hilarious. You sign it with a number? Oh. What are you doing? You gotta sign it with the number. 